the first so cool thing, find me an RV that has a spiral staircase. Guys, I'm telling you, I walked on here, my jaw dropped. You have windows from top to bottom almost. So much natural light is coming in. As a kid, I probably would have loved this. This is what is called a destination trailer. You're gonna enjoy it because it's really an apartment on wheels. Guys, this is really, really exciting. We're gonna bring you today something you've probably never seen before. This is the Salem Grand Villa 42 View. You are not gonna believe the interior of this trailer. So quickly, I'm gonna do the outside. It, it's pretty boring on the outside. Really on the inside is where the excitement is. Couple things, weight on this, 12,900, I believe 50 pounds. So you definitely, at least a three quarter, probably a dually just because of the height and length. It is very high, it is almost 42 feet long. Double decker, quickly on the outside, all fiberglass, nothing exciting here, guys. This is what is called a destination trailer, which means it's not meant to be towing from campground to campground. You're gonna take it, you're gonna drop it at a place, lakefront, mountainside, wherever, and then you're gonna enjoy it because it's really an apartment on wheels. We'll show you the passenger side really quick. Driver side is the same. Just go around the back. Nothing crazy here, guys. You have just a wall on the back with your hookup. As far as the specs of it, all the tank sizes, we're gonna put a link below to our Forest Rivers website, Forest Rivers website, and you can go and check all the specs on there. So let's go inside. All right, so I'm gonna take you on this 50 amp coach. Guys, I'm telling you, I walked on here, my mouth dropped. Okay, jaw dropped. <laughs> Follow me in. When you walk in, you're gonna walk into this enormous kitchen and living area. An island is probably about the size of two of uh, most islands that you'll see. You have a double sink here. You've got some stools, so if you wanna eat your breakfast, looking out the window, it's a beautiful, beautiful scenery to look out. Now look, guys, you have windows from top to bottom almost, okay? Of course, your sliding glass door, like your destination trailers have, so much natural light is coming in, which is actually helping us today because the power is not on here, but the, all that light coming in, this is actually being filmed with natural light, so you can see how much you're getting in. All right, so, a very large pantry, many, many shelves. There's a place down the bottom, you see they have a garbage can there. Then you're going to have your prep area here. You're going to have a propane stove with two burners there and you do have an oven underneath and an LG microwave there. A lot of place to keep all your uh, you know, utensils and plates and all of that. Okay, so plenty of room there. Then moving over here, you're gonna have an LG fridge. I like the layout of the kitchen, kind of fits everything nicely in there. So you're gonna have that. And then the first so cool thing, find me an RV that has a spiral staircase. Well, we just did. <laughs> so you're, we're gonna start up here. So you have a spiral staircase now leading up to your one of two lofts, believe it or not. If you have a lot of kids, who is that woman that had the uh, 16 Octomom. kids? Yes, she could make, the, oh God, she could make this work. So up here, you're going to have three areas to sleep. So if you have some smaller kids, you have three beds up here. Although I don't know if the parents that are right underneath it are gonna appreciate it. Are going to enjoy that. Kids. Well, you put the kids outside and then, you know, let them play. They'll, they'll only sleep up there. Morning, so, morning. so this is very, very cool. Hey, hi. how are you? Oh, we're morning. filming. Morning. Say hi. hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so really, really cool off. Now, when you have kids, what do you have? You have a lot of stuff. And these very cut out, uh, very cool cut out compartments here that you can keep toys or clothes or whatever. So there's four of those. That's really, really neat. Great for space saving and they're set in to save that space. So then you're gonna move into, as Izzy said, the parents' bedroom. Again, the windows, huge windows. So we, again, don't have the lights on in here. Look how bright it is. Windows surrounding the entire room. You got a king size bed here with your reading lights, plenty of you have deep storage up above the bed there. What is very cool also, and I'm gonna slip past you, in this master bedroom is you have a fireplace here. So that's kind of cool. You have got plenty of wardrobe space in here, plenty of drawers to keep your clothes. Here's your, your nightshades are down. This is a roomy uh, bedroom for the parents. Yeah, you just have to deal with the kids upstairs. Okay, head on to the other side. Now into the living space. So you have a, an L-shaped couch here. Again, more huge windows. These are interesting window treatments there. That's kind of different, you know, I like that. Another fireplace here. So you have a fireplace opposing the couch. You're gonna have a TV on a televator and then you have your Furion 
uh, sound bar. You have some uh, USBs there. So you have two AC units in this RV and you also have a ceiling fan in the living room, which is nice on those days that you may not need the AC. You just want to get some air circulating. That can be great. Now, moving on into the next loft. So check this out. The spiral staircase, staircase there. This is just a, a regular staircase but you're going to have two more spots up here two more kids can sleep up here you know it's pretty cool it's almost like they're in prison so <laughs> the kids are looking out here you can look across to the other kids over there you can this could be fun as a kid i probably would have loved this so more sleeping space so the one drawback of the of the lab this is a really really cool layout for a big family but the one drawback is there is only the one bathroom and it's all the way over here. So the parents, you have to get up in the middle of the night, you're walking across the entire RV to get to the bathroom. Can you so, pull that shade up? Oh no, sorry, it's a mirror. Yeah, sorry. yeah. It's a one bath coach for a lot of people that would be sleeping on here. But this is a large bath. It is a very large bath. So you have a huge, huge shower with sliding glass doors. I like the rainforest shower head there. But yeah, I mean, this is a much bigger bathroom than you're getting in most RVs. And then you have your washer dryer there, which is great. Large sink, plenty of space to keep items. And then you have linen, linen closet space over here. And a, and a large mirror here. You have 110 outlets, nice towel bar. So plenty of room. So you may be asking yourself, what is the price of this RV? The MSRP, $105,131. The show price is currently at $79,999. Of course, it is always negotiable. Mm -hmm. If you want more information about it, go to Forest River's website. They will show you the authorized dealers. Go check them out. Yeah, and I just wanted to say, put in the comments below, have you ever seen something like this? Have you seen a spiral staircase in an RV? Have you seen a layout like this? I mean, I know there's plenty that have a lot of loft space, but something set up like this. This is perfect for the lakefront where you just want to drop Plop an it. RV yep. <laughs> and it stays there for the season or if you have a right. seasonal lot mm -hmm. and you just like being home away from home right. this is perfect for that then to the left of us if you like some tours we have our RV tours playlist we'll post it as well as our RV newbies playlist if you want some more information and for myself and MJ is a journey of a lifetime and we'll see, see you, you on, on the road, road.